Hey everybody, Erica here from Pink Bucker Designs and it's time for another Facebook Friday. I hope I'm in the right spot. Suddenly I'm questioning myself, did I go to my group or am I just on my regular feed? Okay, I can see it on my iPad. Welcome to Facebook Friday. Um, every week I go live on Fridays around two o'clock central, um, barring any kid activities that I have to go to. Um, and this week we're gonna do Valentine treats. I have three Valentine treat containers, boxes um, for you. And uh, I usually pick one product and design around that product, but this, this week I didn't do that. We're kind of dabbling across um, several different products from the current Stampin' Up! catalogs. Hello everybody, thank you for joining. If you're watching the replay, thank you also. I don't care when you watch the video, I just appreciate you watching at any time. While you guys are jumping on, I'm gonna um, flip the camera in just a minute, but I thought I would give you a little sneak peek of something coming on February 4th. Oh, I hope I'm giving you the right date. February 4th. We have um, new products coming. They call them out of publication products. That means they're not in any of the catalogs. And if you were around last year, you might remember we had some celebration coordination products. They were um, things that coordinated with products in the celebration catalog which is this. Um, this year we have coordination products coming out, but they don't just coordinate with the Celebration Catalog. Um, there are mostly die sets and a pack of amazing designer series paper that coordinates with all our punches. It's so cool. Um, so I wanted to give you a heads up that that's coming in February. Um, I will give you lots of uh, detail as we get closer. Um, probably next week. I have I have designed several projects with them already, and so I'm gonna start showing them to you closer to the time when you can order them. Um, so I wanted to let you know that's coming. They're just called coordination products. <laughs> um, they coordinate with, uh, I think there's what, two that coordinate with celebration items, and then the, there's several that coordinate with the spring stamp sets. Am I getting this wrong? Suddenly it, that feels wrong the numbers. It's there. I'm telling you the right catalogs. I just can't remember how many of each. And then there's that beautiful paper. So February 4th. Thank you. Uh, was that Carla? Thank you so much to, for telling me. Um, I went to, um, print that information out. Yes, Carla. Thank you. I went to print that information out just right like two minutes ago and my computer shut down. <laughs> I don't know. So anyways, I don't have the details in front of me. But we're good, we still have a week and a half. I will let you know. By the way, you guys, subscribe to my email. Um, when this is done, I will add that link up here in the description. Make sure you're on my email list. Um, that's where I, where you know you're gonna get all the, the important information. Because sometimes you go on Facebook when somebody posts something, you may not see it. The way Facebook works, works sometimes they don't show you everything that all of your people or groups or whatever have posted. But if you're in my email list, you'll get it in your inbox. Um, another thing that's coming up on my in my email list is our, Rhonda Wade and I are doing a um, retreat at the end of February. We're gonna offer it to go sometime around the beginning of February. And I'm gonna put that in my email newsletter first. So if you wanna get in on that, make sure you've subscribed to my newsletter, okay? And I say newsletter, I don't do, um, anymore, I don't do it like on a specific day. I just send it out when I have information for you, things I need for you to know. All right, hey Gina. Um, and um, so make sure that you have subscribed, that you're on my email list, so you'll find out about the new coordination products and about the retreat to go and my classes to go and all that important stuff. Sneak peek, I'm circling back to what I was telling you in the beginning. New coordination products. Here's a card that I made with some of the new products. Look at the paper, first of all, in the background. It's rainbow, like pastel, bright pastel. Is that right? Bright pastels. A bright, lovely rainbow paper is part of that pack. And those flowers are one big die. Isn't that fabulous? I'm sure this will be a Facebook Friday project. Um, that Friday after the 4th, what is that, 4th, 5th, 6th, the 7th, I'll probably do all coordination products so you can see them, okay? So get excited, new stuff, yay. And that also means um, that you can earn more celebration items because you order the new coordination products to go with the things you have and once again, you'll earn free stuff, 
Yay. Okay, so lots of us are here. Um, thank you, whoever said you liked my earrings. You guys, when I... <laughs> I'm, I'm like crazy with my jewelry today. Um, I when, you, when I switch over the camera, you're going to see my bracelet. And it might be too much. All right? I'm not sure I can wear it because it kind of bothers me. But you'll see in a second. Okay? All right. <laughs> I'm going to switch you guys over. I don't have a fancy way of doing this. So just close your eyes. Pretend like you're not looking at my nose. <laughs> <laughs> I know there's a fancy software to do that. One of these days I'll learn how to do it. Hi, Nina. Good. I'm glad you're happy and excited today, too. Today's a beautiful day here. Our weather is glorious. I just am, I'm in a good mood today. Everything just, I don't know. My team has had an amazing week. We've added so many people and we just, I don't know, it's just been a great week. Okay. What do I want to show you first? I, I guess I'll show you this. I feel like there was something I was just, oh, my bracelet. You were going to see my bracelet. What do you guys think? Now, and it kind of matches my ring, right? Now, I have to tell you, we, for my daughter's birthday, we went to Fredericksburg, which is like a little town, um, I guess, north of here. And we did like a girl shopping trip. And they have all these boutique stuff stores. And this is just, I just really didn't buy much that day, but this is one of the things that I bought. Loved it. Got it home, set it down on the counter, and two of these popped out immediately. So I glued them back on with my crystal effects. <laughs> Did you guys know crystal effects is an amazing glue? It really is. But anyway, so it's, it's probably a piece of junk. I don't care. I still love it. It's beautiful, isn't it? We'll see if they fall out during, this is the first time I've actually worn it, but it kind of I don't know. Anyway, sorry. I know you're like, get on with it. Okay. Paper pumpkin. I put my paper pumpkin together last night while, watch, while watching the morning show on the new Apple Plus or whatever the Apple streaming service is. You guys, it's so good. The morning show. Anyway, I stayed up too late and this is what I was doing. The paper pumpkin kit this month is super cute. Oh, where did I put the stamp set? I thought, yeah, here it is. Look at this stamp set. It's got this big stamp right here. That's what you stamp on the background of that card. There's this that matches with the heart punches we're using today. It's got a B. It's called I'll Be Yours. And so they've got these little Bs. You just punch them out. Um, really easy stamping this month. You're just stamping the sentiment and stamping that background. So you get these cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cards. And then you have these little treat bags. Let me find one. I don't like the solid hearts as much as the, here's one. I love the patterned hearts. And you have 20 of these little treat envelopes. These totally remind me of when we were kids and we would buy the Valentines at the grocery store and it would come with like a little, you know, like a little envelope that you slid the, the little treat in, a little candy in. That's what these remind me of. And the, the thing that took the longest, honestly, was tying these on. Um, but other than that, it's very easy. Um, but that is a little bit tedious. And if you didn't want to do that, you could totally stick it on with a dimensional and tie a bow and stick it on a glue dot. But I tied it through the holes. Anyway, Paper Pumpkin, I hope that you're a subscriber. I do have extra kits for sale this month. Um, not a whole lot. Um, I will ship them to you for $24 total. That's the price of the kit and shipping. It comes this month with Mitt Macaron and the stamp set. Um, if you would like one of my extras, please message me on Facebook or email me. I will not see your comments here, okay? Message me or email me. Um, and um, when they're gone, they're gone, okay? You guys really should subscribe. I'll put that link up in the description too. I love Valentine's. Okay, last call for this class to go. This is my last class for January. Um, Poppy, painted pop. I can't even remember what, what, I, what I'm calling it. Pop, it's the Poppy class, boy. Peaceful poppies is what I'm calling it because peaceful and poppies go together. <laughs> anyway, you get seven projects in this class. We've got a random cling on here, some kind of rhinestone. Um, you get these elements, which are really neat. You get um, a bolt of ribbon, and then you get the seven projects, which includes this. I'm gonna show you how to make that 3D flower. Um, you can get it with the bundle or without the bundle, okay? Um, it's this bundle that you get peaceful moments and then you can add on painted poppies bundle if you'd like um, for a discount I, I don't charge you tax and shipping when you add on and then you get celebration items and if you get the whole class kit plus add on that you get two 
$50 celebration items or a $100 celebration item for free. Okay, so very last day, today. It will be cut off midnight tonight and that's it, okay? <laughs> Somebody always messages me like Saturday and they can't register. That's because Friday is the deadline. Please register today. If you need that link, it's on the bottom of today's blog post, on the PDF, um, everywhere on the interwebs you can find it. Um, okay. Why do I feel like there was something? I don't know. Um, let's do, let's do prizes. Last week, and I'm totally not looking at your comments because I will get distracted. And now I feel like I need to go read them. Um, Jenny Zalea, that's a Y. Jenny Zalea and Kelly Sharp, you're the random winners from last week. Thank you for sharing my video on Facebook. Please message me your addresses. I don't believe I have either of your addresses because I would love to get this in the mail to you ASAP so you can start stamping. This week, I think this prize is really good. I cut an extra paper share and an extra ribbon share, so I have two to give away. Okay, um, one prize, one prize. All you have to do to enter is share on Facebook. Just share the video. Um, and if you're interested in another paper or ribbon share, please message me. I've had some interest and I'm willing to do another round. So please message me if you're interested in a paper or a ribbon share. Um, okay, so there's that. If, you're, if you don't know what a share is, it's a quarter piece of every new piece of designer series paper, including the celebration paper, and a yard of all the new ribbons. That's a pretty good price, in my opinion. <coughs> okay, let me tell you about the All-Star Tutorial Bundle, because we've got some information, some new details. If you stopped on our blog yesterday, you saw the announcement that February starts the new subscription period. I am a part of the All-Star Tutorial Bundle with 11 other demonstrators. And every six months, we start again. Um, sometimes designers leave and we add new ones, which is the case this time. It's just how it works. Um, but this next round starts in February. And you, if you, um, first off, if you buy, if you order from me online, and your order is over $50, I send you this for free, uh, PDF, okay? So if you're my customer and you shop with me all the time, then don't worry about it. But a lot of you are demonstrators yourself or you have a demonstrator of your own and you're not gonna shop with me um, on my in my online store, but you want the PDF. A subscription is your, is your best option. A subscription means that you pay for, and this next round, by the way, we're doing a five month round because we wanna start new with the new catalog. So we're going February to May, and then the new round will start in June. So this time, it's a five month subscription, and if you subscribe, you pay for the first four, and you get the fifth month for free. Um, you can pay month to month for that, or you can pay the whole thing up front, and I email them to you on the first, every single month, um, without fail. So that information is over on my blog, if you'd like to subscribe. It's a really good bundle. This one, they're always over 70 pages. I always print them on my printer to show you guys. And it's a huge file. Um, step by step, photos, measurements in both metric and in um, inches. And um, really cool, you get lots of different varieties of styles because there's 12 different demonstrators. And then this next time we're gonna do something really cool. Um, each month we're picking one suite or bundle and we're focusing on that. And all the projects will be focused around that that product, that bundle of products. So I, I'm interested to see how that goes. I think that'll be really, really neat. This month is still available. This um, is January 2020. If you want it, it's in my PDF store. And if you put in an order over $50, I email it to you for free. Hopefully I am caught up and everybody would have gotten theirs. If you didn't, let me know. Sometimes they disappear and don't show up in your inbox. This is my project this month in the All-Star Tutorial Bundle. Okay, there's that. And I wish I had gotten some water because now I'm suddenly thirsty. I have a little bit of Diet Coke left, but that's not helping. All right, well today, Facebook Friday, if you haven't joined me before, 
I do three projects and if you hop over to pinkbuckaroo.com under the third photo you'll find the PDF looks like this you can save it you can print it you can do whatever it has all the products that I'm going to use as well as those measurements that you'll need now the things that I've talked to you about already are over here on the second page there's the link for the peaceful poppies class here's the link for the all-star tutorial bundle subscription and here's the link for um the celebration starter kit which you guys know is a deal i'm just gonna real quick because i cannot i would be remiss if i didn't tell you about it every time i talk to you here's a sample starter kit a starter kit is 99 dollars. no tax i mean no shipping there is tax no shipping okay um you get 125 dollars of product of your choice they don't pick any of it. You pick whatever you want. And I put together like a sample. So $125 in product, plus you get to pick an additional stamp set, which I suggest you find the most expensive one on your wish list. Add that in. Um, you get that for free. You also get the baby trimmer, which we all love. The adorable little handy um, mini trimmer that you can keep in your drawer right next to you, wherever you work. Um, and what am I missing? Oh, the paper, paper sampler. You get a, pa a designer series paper sampler. And um, you also get a paper pumpkin in there. A lot goes into that. We, I think we figured it's like $257, up to $257 worth of product. And you're just paying $99. So if you're putting in an order that's over $99, consider the starter kit. Um, the only obligation that you have at any point is to meet a minimum quarterly minimum by the end of june and if you don't nothing happens you get to keep all your stuff and nobody bothers you so don't feel like there's going to be any kind of pressure you between now and then you can enjoy 20 percent off all of your orders so to me it's a no-brainer i think it's a fantastic deal it's always a fantastic deal but celebration is always the best time okay Whew. Hello, everybody. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for listening to me. Um, today, we're going to make three Valentine projects. If you love these projects, I will send them to you for free. If you put in an order by Monday at midnight using that host code, your order has to be minimum $35. Um, here are some past kits that I mail out. Um, we're going to use all of that today, too. Here's the Paris one. See, I do the scoring. I add the ribbon, everything that you need. Here's last week's, and I even send you a thank you tag. Okay, so just know if you want these three to go in the mail on Wednesday, it'll be Wednesday, um, just put in a minimum order today, tomorrow, Sunday, or Monday of $35 and you use the host code. All right, are we good? Are we ready to stamp? I know I am. And I remember to, to lock the dogs up today. They um, always, if you have never joined us, or maybe you watch me on silent, which I get, um, my dogs, I have two schnauzers. One in particular is crazy, very, very barky, and he always barks during our life. Today I remembered to lock him up. Poor baby, I know. And as soon as I closed the door, he started barking because he thought somebody was here. <laughs> nope, just me. All right, here we go. So here's what we're making. We're going to move these over to the side because that's what we're going to do second and third. And first, we're going to make this tiny little Ghirardelli, and I don't really know what to call it. Holder. This was our Stamp Club to Go project this month. And um, these just slide in. It's just the little mini Ghirardellis. Um, I made a whole bunch of these for my Stamp Club to Go people. Um, and it did not take long at all. It's funny. Are you guys like this? When I look at it, I can I can remember what I was watching on TV while I was putting them together. It like triggers that memory for me. Is that weird? It's weird how our brains work. Anyway, every time I look at it, I think of the show that I was watching. Anyhow, it, they're easy. These would be great for mass producing. If you've got to make 30 class treats, or I know somebody said they need to make 100 something, this is great, okay? Little pieces of designer series paper. I think you can get four out of a full sheet of cardstock. Um, and not a lot of fussy stamping. Now we're gonna do a little bit of fussy cutting. And if you needed to do 100, you could just leave that off, okay? Okie dokie, we're ready. Let's get all of our pieces. And remember, those measurements are over on that PDF. So you can hop over to pinkbuckaroo.com and find it. You're going to start with a three and a half by four and seven eighths. 
um, piece of cardstock. I'm reading comments. See what happens when I read comments? I get totally like, I can't, I can't complete a sentence. Three and a half by four and seven eighths, okay? On the long side, we're gonna score it at one and a half and one and seven eighths. And then you're gonna turn it and score at three eighths. Now, don't be embarrassed if you're like, mm, what's three eighths? I know, we learn it in school and then we never use it. But when you're using your ruler on your Simply Scored or your um, stamp and Trimmer, just know that it's three tick marks over, okay? It's one, two, three, three eighths. There are eight tick marks in an inch. Easy enough, right? Three eight, um, I've scored it on three eighths and then I'm gonna come over here and do three and an eighth, all right? Now, I really wanna use my bone folder. You guys, do you have a basket like this? Does your basket look like this? I mean, it's embarrassing. Look, it's all the like main stuff that I need. All my adhesive, scissors. Look how sad and disgusting that is. <laughs> It's well used. All right, take your bone folder and really burnish those lines. Hey, Carol, you're not too late. I just started the first project. You just got to miss all the blah, blah, blahs. All right, now take your scissors and snip those lines right there, okay? And before we put it together, let's put on the designer series paper. Now the paper in that pack, you could use any pattern you want. You can see here, I used one side with the hearts and one side with the stripes. All the paper in that pack will match, so you don't have to worry about it. And I think I need to trim this because I recorded a clean video this morning and they were a little bit too big. So let's see, on my notes it says I need two and five eighths by two and a half. Yeah, that's a little bit. Ah, I did two and three fourths. Two and five eighths. See that little baby trimmer comes in so handy. All right, now this piece, if you're trying to conserve your paper, this piece right here, I said two and five eighths by, what did I say, two and a half. But look, this folds up and over, so you could even just make it shorter, you know, because they're not gonna see down there. Just a little tip in case you are like running low on paper, which I am running low on my Valentine paper. All right, let's see, did I, boy, that one's way off. This one needs to be two and five eighths by one and three eighths. One and three eighths, okay. Hi everybody, I'm so glad you joined me today. We're making Valentine treats. And I did a little poll yesterday asking who sends Valentine cards. I will admit, I do not, I do not, but I know a lot of people that do. So I asked you guys in the poll yesterday, do you send Valentine cards? And pretty overwhelming, most of you, well, two thirds of you said yes. So I decided next week we're gonna do Valentine cards. Now, if you are like, Ugh, I don't do Valentine cards, Erica, I don't have any time or any reason for that, all of them are gonna be able to turn, be turned into a wedding card, okay? So come back next week, next Friday, and we're gonna be doing more Valentines. And then I promise I'll be done with Valentine's Day. I, I have to be done early to give you enough time to order what you need to get your treats made and your cards made. I'm gonna actually use that paper pumpkin stamp set for one of them because it's awesome. Why can't I get this off? Okay, there we go. Now, here we go. I, did, I have just been blabbering. Let me tell you what I did. We snipped these, right? We put our paper on. I'm gonna fold this little guy in, fold this up, and same thing over here. And then this just, I put adhesive on the inside of these tabs, and I'm gonna fold up and over. Okay, up and over. Can you see how that is? Ta-da! Easy peasy. Now, I like for these to be at an angle. So take your scissors, let's see, and start at the back corner. It's probably better to do this with a bigger scissors. And cut to the front corner. It's like a little magazine, you know, the little boxes that we put magazines in, that's what this reminds me of. And then top corner, diagonally to the front corner. And there we have it. Now. These things fit right in here. And two options, because they will just slide out. You can put a glue dot on each one to hold it in. 
Um, you can also do what I did for Stamp Club. I put them in one of our little clear envelopes. Cute, right? Just put in a clear envelope. So you could do that. I like to fold these back too to make them go down a little bit lower. All right. Or you could just give them like this. I mean, I don't think, look, it's, they don't fall out when you fold those back. I don't think it's that big of a deal. All right, now let's do the heart. Thank you for sharing. St. Patrick's Day after Valentine's. Sandy, yes. You know, uh, I don't ever do anything for St. Patrick's Day, but you guys always ask for St. Patrick's Day. So I will do that, but not until probably later in February, okay? Um, maybe even early, early March. Okay, so now we're gonna use, this is the Heart Punch Pack. Um, they are big punches. Usually our punch packs are mini punches, but these are big. You have a solid heart and a scalloped heart and they nest, they fit. And in the From My Heart Designer Series paper, there are hearts that you can cut out. Also, oh, should I give you guys a sneak peek? Should I give you a sneak peek of that paper that's coming out? Okay. I'll give you a sneak peek, hold on. So that one punches that, and notice, did you notice you have to um, cut around, cut some of that paper off to get your punch in there? Okay, this one you do not, I don't think. And there's so many on one sheet, you would really get a lot out of them. Okay, real quick, pause, I'm gonna show you that. I'm not even gonna show you all of them, I'm gonna show you one, one piece of that new designer series paper. Look at that, it's so cute, look. Gorgeous, right? And it's like rainbow pastel, right? Eastery. I'm gonna use this paper for my Easter class. So get ready, it's gonna be cute. All right, sorry, I don't know. I'm just very excited by spring colors. All right, so stack that onto that. We have, demonstrators get to pre-order things. That's why I have it um, early. That's why I have it early. All right, now, fussy cutting. Raise your hand if you hate when I fussy cut. I see you. I know, I know. This does not have a die. And if you don't wanna fussy cut, you know what? Don't, you don't have to, if you left this off your project, it would be just fine, okay? Um, but I'm gonna tell you, I cut out a bunch of them and it was totally fine. Um, also, I'm gonna tell you that I have a scan and cut. That's a, a e-machine, an expensive machine that I bought. Um, it's supposed to scan your images and cut them out and I can never get it to work. It never ever reads the images I want it to read and it makes me angry because by the time I'm done fooling with it, I could have had them all fussy cutted. Fussy cutted, is that a, is that a word? So anyhow, I still think that our hands are just fine. If you can hold scissors, you can fussy cut. Stay on the outside of that black line, leave a white little cloud around it, and the eye will only see the image of the stamped, or the lines of the stamped image, okay? All right, now I'm gonna lay that there and I'm just gonna put that dimensional right there to hold it, okay? And let's do our sentiment. Oh, real red. Where did you go? I was just using you over here. Oh yeah, put it back. Sorry about that. Now this um set has lots of uh, sentiments. You could use, I mean, you could use a multitude of things, um, but I'm going with from my heart to yours. That's, <laughs> I was joking on my clean recording this morning that that's a little less awkward at the office than I love you. Um, you could give that to your boss and not feel like, uh-oh, something's weird. From my heart to yours. That's acceptable on Valentine's Day. Now I'm cutting it out. I'm punching it out with um, a punch that is retired that I that I just, I, I refuse to stop using my one and a fourth inch circle punch. For some reason, Stampin' Up! retired it. And I have the die here. What do I do with it? Oh, great. Anyway, if you don't have this, um, there is a die. How did I lose that? Well, it's gonna show up here in a minute. Um, here it is. One of the, the smallest layering die, layering, what is it called? Layering circles is one and a fourth. So you can use that too. All right, last but not least, take that off, stick that right on top. See how easy, I mean, you know, when there's not a lot of stamping involved, 
it makes things go pretty quickly. Did I put this in the center? I can't remember. Yeah, I did. Okay, let's add another dimensional right here. <laughs> My friend Ange says that if you can spell it, it's a word. Well, I can't spell very well, so <laughs> Debbie, that doesn't help me. <laughs> I, I have, I'm at the point where I'm asking my kids how to spell things. You know, when I was a kid, I was a terrible speller. And I think because of that, it's made me completely insecure about my spelling. So now I don't trust myself ever to spell anything, especially in front of people. I'm like, my brain just like shuts off. I can't spell, especially when someone's watching. My poor mother. I don't think she's on here today. Boy, she had to help me learn my spelling words when I was a kid. My girls are so good. They, I've never had to struggle with any of them. Their father spells pretty well, so I guess they got it from him. All right, a heart, a glue dot, and you're done. This is that double stitched ribbon that's in the spring catalog with the Valentine suite of products, and it's lovely. It's double stitched, it's satin, it's gorgeous. You can use it for Christmas, for Valentine's, for birthdays, for whatever. And there you have it. What do you guys think? Pretty simple, right? Pretty doable if you needed to make 100. Sandy, weren't you the one that said you were gonna make 100? Oh. Uh. Fussy cutted. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's pretty easy. I could probably spell that, Debbie. <laughs> if you can spell it, it's a word. All right, good. I'm glad you guys liked that. Did I even tell you what stamp set we used? Heartfelt. This is the one I just did our Valentine's class with. It's the main Valentine stamp set this year. Okie dokie. Let's do the next project. This one is so... Oh, wait. No, no, I'm going to save that for last. I'm going to go in this order. All right. Now move these out of the way we're gonna make this cute little thing and I didn't you know funny story <laughs> I when I was making the video today and I was having to type the title I was calling it a candy sleeve and then I kind of I was questioning myself on how to spell sleeve so then I changed it <laughs> to candy pouch all right so you know you just adapt and you just find ways to find words you can spell <laughs> Anyways, let me show you what's inside. Um, this is just a clip. Any old clip will work because you don't see it. And it's holding this. It's a tube, really. And inside are these Twix hearts. You know, you see these everywhere. Walgreens, Walmart, Target. They're 50 cents. You could do the uh, Reese's peanut butter ones, the Snickers. Um, what else do they have? But, you know, it's just a 50 cents candy. And we've we've fancied it up here and made it look more than um, a, like a like a gift, right? All right, so that's what we're gonna make. And notice there's no stamping on this project, none. All right, let's get started. Here's the other one. I'm using different patterns of that beautiful From My Heart Designer Series paper. Just to show you, you really can mix and match. It doesn't all have to be exactly the right, the same pattern. You could order one pack of paper and use all the, um, all the patterns, okay? Okay. You need a five by six inch piece of designer series paper. Which side? Oh, I don't know. Hmm, I think I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna think I'm gonna do that on the outside. It's very hard to decide. I like all the patterns. Now, I had my tear and tape. Did I put it on that? Um, I put my glue dots over here. Oh, it's right here. All right. Sorry. Now we're gonna put adhesive or tear and tape down one long side, down one six inch side. Thanks, Diana, I appreciate that. Thank you, Debbie. Um, yes, easily adapted, Catherine, you're right. That's what I try to, try to point out is a lot of these are just easily adapted to what you have or the need, you know, whatever you need to, um, whatever you need a project for. All right, so down one long side and one short side, we're gonna take off both, both adhesives. There's another word, both adhesives. Both strips of adhesive. I used to be a teacher. I know, it's hard to tell, right? We're gonna fold that long side over the other long side, and let's match the edges. Come on, this one wants to go a little bit higher. Oh, now you're making me look silly. There we go. Did I get it? Is it overlapped? Wow, I didn't overlap that a lot, but that's all right. <laughs> all right, now you're gonna pinch the bottom, okay? 
So what this is, if you've ever made a sour cream container, that's basically what this is, except we're just pinching it at the top to make like a pillow. If you pinched it like this, then you kind of have one of these sour cream um, containers, a triangle box, but we're just gonna keep it simple and do that. Um, now, I want it to look like it's crimped at the bottom, so if you have a crimper, you can use that. I don't have one. If not, you can just put it on your Simply Scored and just crimp a few lines like that, all right? Three or four or two or whatever. And then slide in your candy and then grab, go through your craft drawer and just find little clips that you have and you clip it closed. These are just Walmart craft section little clips, okay? So easy, right? I mean, there's nothing to that. Now let's make the tag. This has a lot of die cut in it. Um, and I've done a lot of it ahead of time. We've got a whisper white circle and a whisper white scallop circle. This is the largest circle die, and this is the scallop that goes right behind it. I've cut out a gold be mine stitched heart dies or stitched to be mine. I always say it backwards. The, the heart dies are in the annual catalog. These came out last year at Valentine's Day. Then we have this word, Valentine's, but let me show you what this these are from. Well wishes, let me make sure I say it right. Word wishes, I can never get it right. Word wishes, these are them, they're all the holiday words. Okay, don't forget about these, these are awesome. And I don't want it to say Valentine's, I just wanted to say Valentine. So I'm gonna cut off that S. Okay, Valentine. We've got that. We've got a strip of Golden Honey Designer Series paper from the Celebration Catalog. This is something you can get free with your $50 purchase. It is gorgeous and I can't stop using it. You're gonna see it next week too, especially that print. Oh, you're gonna see it on the next project, <laughs> that print. Luckily, I have a lot of it, a lot of packages. All right, we're gonna use this die. Notice on the tag, if you will, this background. I created kind of um, a tone on tone, just white on white background with the, this heart die. This is a new die. And let me look, make sure I get it right. This is the detailed hearts die. We're gonna use this next week too, because a lot of little hearts can get cut out with one swoop of your die cut machine. Um, but we're gonna use, we're not gonna use the, the little hearts although you should save them and use them. We're gonna use the outline of the hearts. Now, what I'm doing is putting down a dryer sheet. This is a dollar store dryer sheet. Um, I get a box every time I'm in the Dollar Tree. Um, it's like a penny each, you know. There, I think there's 55 in the box, but um, it will hold on to those little hearts um, and help kind of make your die cut a little bit better. So I put the clear plate down, then I put the dryer sheet, then the whisper white paper, and then the die, okay? You don't have to do that. That's just a matter of preference, something I like to do. And we're gonna run this through. Now, this is a detailed, intricate die, which means it has lots of cutting surface. All those inside little things need to cut. So I'm gonna run it through and back twice, just for good measure. And then when you lift it up, you'll see that it'll, everything will stay stuck to that dryer sheet. And we can pull this out and voila, there you have it. And then you can save these. Next week, we're gonna make a shaker with all these little hearts. It's so cute, I already designed it. All right, let me move this out of the way. And this, we don't need this. All right, now how are we gonna glue this onto this white circle? Well, we're gonna use our silicone mat and our Tombow and my sponge, which I don't know where my sponge is. Where is my sponge? Uh-oh. Do you guys see it? Where'd it go? It was here. Was it here? I may just have to grab another one. All right. Come here. Let me grab another one. Hopefully I have a clean sponge. Well, all right, here's one. So if you guys don't know, I try to record a clean version of each of these projects every week. So that for one, you don't have to listen to me blabber on if you wanna come back and, and watch something. Um, but two, to make sure I have everything I need <laughs> and to check my measurements, honestly. Um, but I had it this morning 
and it was on the tray. Who knows? All right. Now I'm going to take my sponge and get that glue. I don't want it real thick. I want it just, you know, thin enough to spread all over. Now I'm going to just dab it, hold this down so it doesn't move around and just dab it all over. You could use your fine tip glue pen or your Tombow normally, but this is a lot easier. Well, maybe easier is not the right word. This is a lot less goopy, maybe. Is that the word? See, I laid the, the, the um, circle down and now it's glued. And you can go wash this in the sink with your, you know, liquid soap and it, it'll be good as new. So there you have it. Now, normally I would let this dry for a few minutes and I would run it back through my machine with, a cir with the same circle die, just one swoop, get all these hearts cut off to match the edge of the circle. But because it's kind of wet and goopy, I'm going to just do this, which you can do too. Just trim them off on the back, equal with the edge of the heart. And there we have it. Isn't that pretty? And I just had a thought, you know, if you took your wink of Stella, you know what, do I have my wink of Stella here? Hmm, I do. What if we made it a little more sparkly? Take your wink of Stella and just wink up some of those little solid hearts and maybe inside some of those. Oh, it's so fancy. All right, now we're ready to assemble. <laughs> Good grief, my adhesive is everywhere. This is a half inch strip. I'm gonna put that on there like that, cut it at an angle like that. Then I'm gonna take that gold heart, pop it up with a dimensional. Hey guys, hi Robin, thank you Karen, thank you Wendy. Lots of my sweet Stampeders on here today. Good to see you girls. And then we could do the same thing with this. In fact, why don't we do that? Let's see, do I still have, I don't wanna set it down in that glue. Nope, it's already dry. Let's get a little bit more. I was just saying at the beginning of this live that our team has had a crazy awesome week with promotions and new Stampeders. Oh my gosh, so many and so many promotions. It's been so fun this week. All right, a little adhesive. Valentine like that so cute red rhinestones because it's valentine's and you need some red rhinestones get your take your pick tool and that little putty ball there at the end and add some my putty ball is probably too big they say to do odd numbers so we'll do three okay and then last but not least this gorgeous black satin ribbon it's very romantic this black satin although if you're giving these out to people you don't want to be romantic then don't think about that <laughs> it's just beautiful isn't it it's a uh, like fancy ribbon all right tie your bow snip and snip you like this one i'm so glad you like this one and dot um i say it's a super simple treat although i had to probably add 14 layers to the tag so i understand that if you need to simplify the tag if you're making a hundred of them <laughs> but you know you could simplify it by not putting that white layer on it, and then i think everything else would be pretty simple but if you needed to just make 10 i think it would be fine all right glue dot on the clip and boom we're done and it just clips on and clips off. And you know what, you could put any candy in there, really. You could do, um, I don't know, any candy you want. It doesn't necessarily have to be that. Look at them in their different, in their different colors. Aren't they pretty? What do you guys think? You like it? Oh, I forgot this part. Hold please. No problem. No problem. The scallop. Thanks, Karen. I'm glad he could help. Put that scallop on there. I knew something was missing. There we go. Now we're done. All right, treat number three, complete. Oh no, 
treat number two complete. Sorry, we have one more. One more in the next one while I'm cleaning up, I'll tell you, is a box. And it's a box designed for a specific treat I found at Target. Something I've never seen before. All right, let's move these guys out of the way and bring over number three right here. Let's move this box. Let's see, do we need, yep, we need that. And right here. All right, so here's our, our last treat. Once again, my favorite black and white designer series paper. I can't stop using it. Um, doesn't it look cute with just red and gold? And look at the heart. It's that um, basket weave, which makes things look like a little pie. <laughs> We discovered that last year. So cute. Inside are, whoops, throwing stamps. Tasty cake, tender loving cakes. I have no idea. I've never heard of these, never seen these. Found them at Target. Um, I found them up by the register. And then um, I saw them at Walmart this week, just over in, you know, like the little Debbie area. So there you go. I meant to link these. Um, and this morning when I looked on... Um, Amazon, I couldn't find them, but I couldn't remember the name. So there's the name if you want them. They're coconutty. So if you like coconut, you'll like them. If you don't like coconut, you could put something else in your box. Something else. It's a good size box. All right, let's get started. Um, by the way, the only stamp I'm using here is from Forever Lovely. It's in the annual catalog, and it's this one, Happy Valentine's Day. You could use whatever sentiment you want. You could even leave the sentiment off if you want to. Okay, simply scored. Let's bring that back up here. Remember, um, Catherine, that well wishes bundle is a good one. Um, this PDF, pinkbuckaroo.com, under the third photo, okay? And um, here are the measurements. Barbara says they are the best tasty cakes. Barbara, you've had these before? I've never seen them before. Tasty Cakes is new to me. I, I feel like that's new to our area. We used something at Halloween and that was the first time either I had seen the Tasty Cake brand or had noticed it, but now I'm seeing them everywhere. How many in the box? Just, I'm sorry, just one. Um, I'll show you in a second when I make the box, okay? I'll show you. They come like this. There are six of these packages in a box. All right, this piece is seven by seven and a fourth. So it's almost square, but it's not. So make sure you look to find the long side first. And on the long side, you're gonna score it at three fourths, three and a fourth, four, six and a half. And then turn it and score it at three fourths, three fourths basically from each end. So that would be three fourths and six and a fourth, okay? Now, when I make a box, you guys, I measure it, I lay it down on my grid paper like this and I measure it. So <coughs> this box, or I knew that a box for this needed to be whatever, how long and how wide, and then I measured how tall it was and that's how tall you make the side. So this one was three fourths of an inch. Um, so you, if you needed to shorten the box or make it wider, you could, you could, if you wanna make it taller, you make these tabs and the sides wider. Um, it's pretty easy. It's pretty adaptable to whatever, whatever treat that you have. Okay. Let's burnish those lines. I was um, joking earlier that this is a perfect size box for money. You could <laughs> give your Valentine money. It might be weird unless they are a kid or a college kid. You could put some cold hard cash in there along with their tasty cake. All right, so I've snipped those lines all across the long side and I'm going to cut the square tabs at an angle. All right. Now, if you guys, are you guys on Instagram? One of my goals this year is to start posting more on Instagram. Um, posting in Instagram stories because I love to watch Instagram stories. Um, when I'm drying my hair in the, in the morning, I, I watch Instagram stories because you don't really have to have the sound, right? You can just watch things go by. Um, and so I really started thinking, why am I not doing that? You know, I love to watch them. I need to be doing that. So yesterday I did my first Instagram story in a very long time. And I will admit that my 12 year old was sitting next to me, helping me. <laughs> Now I got it. It's not hard. 
it just you know it's awkward at first so anyway if you are on instagram come follow me um i had i showed all the different steps of that class to go that i just sent out a hundred class kits um, which was a huge undertaking um, so if you're interested in seeing that make sure you follow pink buckaroo on instagram all right so i did the same thing on both sides i'm taking my tear and tape and i'm going to put it actually we'll just do all four tab all six tabs right now don't use your snail on this you guys it'll fall apart you can use this you can use Tombow's great for this too, but you have to be patient and wait for it to dry, which I'm not patient. It, you know what, though, I will say Tombow's great on boxes. Um, I feel like it has the best hold sometimes for a box. Um, and, and I think I've showed you guys where when you're making a box with Tombow, get some closed pens and hold it together, hold these tabs together um, with closed pens while you wait for it to dry and it really creates a nice hold. Okay, so it doesn't matter which side you start on because it's going to be the same either way. Fold these in. We make this kind of box all the time. Fold those in. Fold that up. Match the edges. Okay. Oh, good, Karen, you see me on Instagram. Oh, and Debbie, you saw it. Good. I'm going to try to remember. You know, Instagram is supposed to be quick and easy, but I'm finding for me, I don't know, maybe it's because I have to type on my phone rather than the computer. It's more, um, I don't know, tedious, is that the word? But I love Instagram. And so I need to really take advantage of Instagram and be sharing over there too. My downline, Alessandra, I don't think she's on here. I don't know if I've seen her. She was like, she even asked me, why aren't you posting more on Instagram? And I was like, I've been thinking about it. It's like, she was reading my mind. Now these last two, we're just gonna fold in to here like this. Okay, and then this is just a clamshell box. This just closes right over there like that, okay? Like paper pumpkin box. And then you can see how this fits in here. And it is a little bit bigger because I, I measured from end to end of the packaging. But you could fill this, I mean, really, the possibilities are endless. I like money. I think money's a good idea. <laughs> okay, there's our box, we're almost done. Um, I have cut the designer series paper, my favorite black and white. And if you put in an order by Monday at midnight, I'm going to send you pieces of my coveted paper. Like Kylie says, love it, chop it. I'm going to love it and chop it and send it to you in the mail. It's so cute. And I just opened up, oh, now I'm not going to even remember the name. I'm taking my braided linen trim and tying around like this. I just opened our product medley somebody knows the name of it it's the the one it's seventy dollars it includes the paper the stamps the dies the ribbon and these little bee um trinkets i can't remember the name it's in the spring catalog anyhow i just opened it today and it has this print in there too so i was very excited although that paper you can't just replace the paper you can't just order the paper so i'll be coveting that one a little closer all right so that's how we hold it closed now we're going to use those punches that we used on the first project. Um, Nina, the, um, the difference between Instagram and YouTube, YouTube's all videos. Um, Instagram is mostly photos, um, but a story is where you add photos or videos to, oh, it's hard to explain, to like a 24 hour, um, hmm, my words escape me. You just click on it, it will scroll through whatever you've uploaded for your story, it, but then in 24 hours it expires and it's gone. Um, sometimes people do videos, sometimes people do just photos, um, but mostly it's Instagram is for photos. Okay, I'm gonna take the solid heart and punch real red, and then, uh-oh, here it is. Is this it? Is this my whisper white piece? I'm gonna punch the scalloped heart from Whisper White. I'm gonna save that because we're gonna use that. And then let's emboss with that basket weave embossing folder. Um, was it last celebration that this was a celebration item and we all lost our minds over it because we fell in love with it, it was so cute. Now it's in the annual catalog. And I wanna tell you that it's kind of confusing Stampin' Up, thank you, Carla says, Botanical Prints Product Medley, that's the one. That's the one that has the black and white paper in it too. Um, Stampin' Up 
is has transitioned away from Sizzix. Um, they're going to be creating their own dye machine coming up, hopefully in the summer. And so they have started manufacturing the dyes themselves, or the embossing, well, embossing folders and dyes themselves. If you have an old one, which means you bought it before this past June, it'll say Sizzix up here, then you don't need a, a special plate. You can just emboss it with your clear plate. But if you have bought this or any of our 3D embossing folders, um, since June 2019, you'll need a special purple plate um, to go with all of your embossing folders. So look for that. It's in, hmm, is it in the annual catalog? I think it is, yeah, in the annual catalog and just add it on. But this one's old, so I didn't need that special plate. It's kind of confusing, but it's just part, you know, transitioning from one thing to the, ne to the next sometimes can be confusing. All right, so we've embossed it. So cute, it's like a little cherry pie, heart-shaped cherry pie. Put that on the white. And this is a gold um, stitched circle from the stitched shape dies. It is the second largest. And we're gonna put that right there. Um, Karen, the purple plate, that's a good question. She says, what's the difference between the purple plate and our old plate? The purple plate is what you need to adapt your machine to the new 3D embossing folders. Let's see if I have one right here. Um, it's a thickness. It's just the difference in the thickness. Um, the new, well, do I have one? Here's one. The new um, embossing folders that are produced, manufactured by Stampin' Up! have just a different thickness than the old ones. And so instead of a clear plate, you would put the purple plate over it. See how it just says stamping up on it? That's how you'll know that it doesn't need the purple plate. But this one is was manufactured by Sizzix. So it is the perfect thickness to go with that Big Shot because the Big Shot was made by Sizzix. I hope I'm explaining that correctly. Uh, is it thinner? No, it's thicker. This is thinner than this. And this is thicker because this is thinner. <laughs> Clear as mud. Just know if you have a 3D embossing folder that does not say Sizzix, you need a purple plate. Okay? I hope I explained that right. I feel like I butcher that every time I try to explain it. Okay, we're almost done. What time is it? Oh, right on time. Gotta go pick up the kids. Happy Valentine's Day. Memento Black on Whisper White. And we'll use the classic label. Classic label punch. Whoop. Did I put that on the block crooked? <laughs> it looks like it's a little dip down in the middle. That can happen. All right, mini dimensionals. These are from my paper pumpkin. Let's put those in the middle. Yeah, Christine, it is kind of like a shim, except you don't use the clear plate. You use it by yourself. It's just a thicker plate. Um, and I have tried to use, because I forgot to order that purple plate in the beginning, and I um, tried to figure out a sandwich to get those to run through with a regular clear plate, and I was not successful. <laughs> so. If you are a big embossing fan and you buy a lot of embossing folders, it would behoove you to purchase that purple plate. It's not very much um, because you'll need it. And it'll give you that nice, cre crisp, clean embossed um, texture that you want from those 3D embossing folders. Okay, I just finished the project and wasn't even talking about it. Two dimensionals on either side, sandwiching over that ribbon. So when they untie the ribbon, it'll hang loose and they can open it up. But this is kind of holding it in place. All right, what do you guys think? I, I think this might be my favorite project of the day just because I'm obsessed with that paper. And I love the little, the little basket weave. It's so cute. All right, you guys, let's review. I have a minute. Uh-oh, did I shake the camera? We made a Tasty Cake box. We made a Valentine pouch slash sleeve, whichever you can spell. And we made our, the Stamp Club projects this month, This these little Ghirardelli um, holders. Three Valentine treats. Hopefully you feel like you have it covered. Um, if you bought my Valentine class, it went out today. It's on its way to you, yay. 
and you'll have six more projects to do. Remember, if you would like these make and takes for free, completely free, all you have to do is put in a $35 minimum order by Monday at midnight and use that host code. All right, you guys. Thank you so much. You guys were fun today. I appreciate you joining me. Please let me know if you have questions. This video um, will be on YouTube soon and all the clean recordings have already been uploaded. I just need to put them to public and you'll be able to come back and find the clean recordings if you need to find um, details on these uh, projects. All right, and don't forget the Peaceful Poppies class deadline is today. Have a wonderful weekend and I will see you next Friday with Valentine cards. Bye, everybody.